Good morning. Um, I was thinking of a theme uh, from the readings and the psalm. And then Corsari walked by after communion and said, give us heaven. And I think that's the theme of today's reading and psalm. Um, but first, I'd like to start coming home Monday night from daughter's, granddaughter's birthdays, Shreveport. We got home at 535, and we were working real hard to get home to go to the annual memorial mass, uh, which touched me much greater than I had initially thought, and it ties into today's reading. As uh, as father and others went through the procession, they got to the psalm for uh, Monday night. And losing my brother three months ago, it was especially fitting the whole process. But uh, the psalm, Psalm 23, which is the psalm for today. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. And Father gave a tremendous homily, and uh, Sheila and May, as they wrote at, read out the names, um, it thought about what heaven was really like, and that was one of the themes that Father had said. Well, we have an answer. In Psalm 23, although it's six verses, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and in the first reading, I think St. Paul read Psalm 23 sometime in his life before he wrote that note to Titus because he's saying the same thing. The Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I shall lack. Who would like anyone better than a shepherd to take care of you if you were a sheep? They dedicate their whole life to it. And then something Father said, and it's right here. And I think of heaven this way. Second verse. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me to tranquil streams. I often think of heaven that way. Laying in blue-green pasture, rolling hills, and a stream going by. What better way to think about that? And then to, to close, the sixth verse says it all. Only goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. What better God does anyone else have than us? So thank you, God, for reminding us of how great you are. And thank you, God, for being our God. Amen.